Great. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to our first installment of Numa Worship. And today, we are privileged to have an awesome, awesome sister in the Lord with us, Shonise Liber. Let's give her a brush. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Now, Shonise Liber, can you kindly just tell us a little bit about yourself? We are so blessed to have you here with us. Uh, thank you so, so much for the opportunity, though. I'm so blessed to be here this sure. afternoon with you guys. Um, so for all of you that knows me, I'm Minister Shonis. Um, I am married for some of the <laughs> brothers, you know. I'm joking, mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> I'm married and, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just anticipating an awesome time um, to be in the yes. presence of the Lord this afternoon and to just worship with you guys. So, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing. We are rejoicing. Yeah, for sure. Now, tell us a little bit about being a young married woman in the ministry. What challenges do, does one face? Honestly, can I keep it real? We wouldn't have it any other way. Perfect. So, um, for me, being married and being as young as I am, I'm not sure. going to disclose my age. Um, I know that I look good, <laughs> but I won't tell how old I am. <laughs> but yeah, so being married and, you know, being in the ministry, it, it becomes quite challenging because you need to juggle between being a wife, being a praise and worship leader, being sure. an aunt, being sure. a sister, sure. you know, but you really want to do the right thing at all times. Awesome. But you face real things. Sure. You have sure. real challenges, you have real situations. You've got, you know, I, I think as church folk, we tend to always want to make it seem like it's not real. And it's real. Sure. Because sure. at the end of the day, you're a person, you're a human being, and you, you're bound to experience challenges and stuff. Yes. So for me, yes. I feel like it's, it's tough. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you, it's very mm -hmm. tough. Mm -hmm. Because having to, you know, worship. And, and, and give people that authenticness of yes. you on a Sunday, yes, yes, not yes, knowing yes. what you left behind at home. It's so true. It's Sometimes so true. you have a big fight before you have to come and sure. lead worship. Sure. Sometimes sure. you have a big argument before you lead praise, but you need to get your game on and, <laughs> and, and, and you know. So it's yeah. tough, sure. but through it all, God has kept me. Ah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. And as a worshiper, we're also not allowed to have that emotion shown on our face. That's true. Because you're there to uplift other people. That's true. So yeah, let's dig into it. Let's dig into it. So this afternoon, like, this is one of the, the songs that really kept me. This, this is one of the songs that really, you know, stood out for me. Because I, I believe, like, with our families, with, you know, friends, they tend to always want you to be strong. They tend to always want you to forget about, you know, your situations and... And yes, immense. You've got emotions. But I think just being in the presence of God and just allowing God to just, you know, wash me clean with, you know, His anointing. And this song just constantly, you know, it just resonates in my spirit. And I just want to sing it if possible. Yes. <laughs> Through it all 
take it one more time. Say through it all, through it all. Oh God, through it all. Oh, oh. I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. Blessed be the name of the <laughs> Lord. That sounds so awesome. That sounds so, so, so awesome. I remember back in the day, I remember I met you. And by that time, you didn't even know that I existed. <laughs> that was before you even got married and all that type of things. And I remember that you were a worshiper of note. Tell us a little bit about your ministry as a worshiper. So um, I started out um, when I was in high school. And you know, um, you get involved with a lot of things, peer pressure, there's a lot of things that happens in a person's life, but mm. at the age of 16, I gave my life to the Lord, um, because there was a lot of changes that I was going through as a young adult per se, sure. and you know, sometimes the journey you take as a friend mm. is not the same journey that I, sure. or that God has laid out for me. So there was things that I needed to do, there was things that I needed to change, circles that I needed to change, which was very uncomfortable, you know, because mm. obviously, if I've moved around with you for so many years, and now, so. and I'm like, <laughs> ah, Eugene, you know, <laughs> and at the time, I didn't understand, you know, what God has called me for, yes, I, 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 I knew that I had a gift, so. because at school, you know, we always used to sing, we used to fool around, play around, but... It got serious when I gave my life to God and, you know, I started getting involved in church and my first, first, first ministry that I was involved with, mm. can I tell you something? Go ahead. Go right ahead. I was mm. not singing at that church. My pastor was actually grooming me to be a preacher. So I was like, okay, you know, and you know, like, I have mm. nothing against Klaskamerkerke, please. <laughs> You know, I've got nothing against it. But we didn't have like a full band at the time. That's where I come from. You know, we don't we didn't have a full band at the time. We didn't have a keyboard so. player. So my pastor used to play the guitar. So mm. there wasn't really like a praise and worship. And mm. you know, I felt like my gift was dying. Yes, mm. I was I was good at preaching, mm. but I was so. not brilliant at it. Mm. And I felt like I'm brilliant at singing because I could mm. flow easily, you know. I, I didn't have to think about what when, when somebody plays the note, I don't have to think about what am I going to sure, sing. Sure, sure, but sure. I need to prepare if I'm going to preach, oh, yeah. you know. Of course, yes. And I, in that journey of my life, but I also had to make like, you know, some drastic changes and I needed to mm. shift churches and stuff. But it was all good. I didn't burn any bridges. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I did the right thing. I did the godly thing. And, Awesome. You know, my pastor released me and, you know, he, he allowed me to go out and spread my wings. And eventually, you know, I found a home where I could be a praise and worship leader. And sure, sure, there sure, I could sure. really say that, you know, I, I was groomed and I grew into what I am now. And to be honest with you, being a worshiper mm. is a daily thing. It's not, sure, it doesn't sure, end. Sure. It doesn't, yeah. there's, there's no limit to it. You, you can't say that when I reach the sky, like, no, there's no love. Sure. So you have sure. to continuously, you know, mm. get into that motion with getting closer to God. Because, I mean, God is so sure. big. How can we say that we know everything about exactly. Him? Exactly. Exactly. So exactly. that is, exactly. for me, simplicity for my call or for my ministry is just, you know, I just want people's lives to be changed through what I do. Awesome. Awesome. So to any worship leaders out there, you better take some notes. You better take some notes. <laughs> Can we go a little bit deeper? Let's go a little bit deeper. Brother Emmett, play those strings. Play those strings. Let's go a little bit deeper. It's all about the worship. It's all about creating the atmosphere. And that's what we're fixing to do. So if I could pose a question to you, would you say that God is faithful? Always. 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 I can basically, I mean, from where I, if I... If, if I look at where I come from, right. if I look at where I was, right. in as much as you mentioned the challenges about being a married individual, being a male individual, even in the time that we live in, there's so many challenges that we face. Right. 
peer pressure, this, that, and the other. But just as you rightfully mentioned, Jesus is the answer. He is. Jesus is the answer for the world today. And it doesn't matter what you go through. It doesn't matter what you face. He is the ultimate. He is the cleft in the rock. That's, he is the way. That's who he is. He is the way. He's a faithful he God. Way. He's a just God. He's a mighty Alipak. God. He's, Alipak. Alipak. he's majestic. He's awesome. And I don't know, like, even in this time where we're facing this pandemic, you know, God has really shown us that, you know, he's never left us and he will never forsake us. And that is why I, I, I can sing this, mm. this following song because I believe that he's a faithful God. Sure, sure. You Take know? it away. He's never failed. Mm me yet he's never failed me yet Jesus love has never failed me yet there's one thing That I may go, Jesus' love has never failed me yet. Can you take it one time for me? Yes, He's never failed. Yes, Lord. Me yet. He's never failed. Want to answer I say, Come now, me. Met all your pain. Dance a work. Room say, Nam. And your own stand a Room say, Nam. And you for the dragon, Rob Sainam, Rob Sainam, Rob Sainam, Rob Net Sainam, Sainam, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. I can I just go on and on and on and on. I can't help but to notice that song has really got something personal. It's got a personal connection, a personal meaning to you. It does, because you know, um, it's so easy to put up a front when you're in front of people. It's so easy to, you know, fake worship. It is so easy to, because we're so long in the ministry, we know what to do, when to do it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, when, when somebody like is hitting a high note, you know, that is the time that I need to lift up my hands and go rub us. No, you know. Mm. But worship needs to be so authentic and it needs to be so real. And that is what I've, what I've experienced during this time of my life. Because I realized that, sure. you know, there's nothing, nothing like the presence of God. Come on. Come there's on, nothing on. like the, the, it's so refreshing. You know, if it is, if you're in the presence of God, when you come out of the, you can face whatever comes your way. True, true, true. a Christian is what not deep ground is in the earth. Every wind that comes, every storm that comes, we serve God based on how we feel. And that is not what I want to ever portray to you know, people that looks up to me, my family, my friends. Sure, I want to sure. stand through the tough times. I want to stand through the hard times. I want to stand through the joys. I want to st stand through the happiness. I want to stand with tears in my eyes, knowing yes. that God will never leave yes, me. Yes, 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 yes. No, and that awesome. is why I can say to somebody, Rup net sy naam in jou omstandigheid. And today you might look at this video and you might feel downcasted. You might feel in despair. You might feel like nobody understands. I want you to know that God sticketh closer than a brother. Yes. It doesn't matter how far yes. you might feel. Yes. It doesn't matter how low you might feel. Mm. He reaches. <laughs> I say yes. God reaches yes. to the lowest valley. Sure. 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 It flows to the highest mountain. That is just who God is. By a kira, we judge people on face value because that is I I don't cause us us who who wants us no one. Yeah. Stem is some. Yeah. You know no person. You know no person judging the book by its cover. And then we do not know what people face. We do not know what people experience, and that is why I don't wanna I don't wanna preach, you know. <laughs> but I just wanna encourage somebody out there this that will be listening. Rupnet say na man yawam standakit. And seen what the year can do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I actually beg to differ. Previously, you said that um, you actually stank at preaching. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember saying essence, that. But in essence, I actually think that uh, you're a preacher that just happened to sing, you know? <laughs> uh, uh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> uh, but you're such a blessing. You are such a blessing. And this is exactly what we need today. Because as worshippers, we're basically just taking what we do privately and we're putting it on a public setting. That's right. That's basically what we do. That's, That's right. not something that you put on. It's not something that you, you know, quickly manufacture this, that, any other. But this is a lifestyle. That's right. This is a lifestyle. So if you have to say something to any worship leaders here today, here and now, just something quick, something, you know, tweaked, what can you say to them? Um, I would just say keep it real be truthful to who you are stay true to yourself sure. i know that you know having to be a worship worshiper or worship leader so many opportunities comes your way sure. but sure. if it does not glorify god yes. i would not tell you to go for it mm. ultimately the goal of us worshipers is mm. to see people's lives change Sure. The sick sure. getting healed, sure. the lame walking, mm. the mute speaking. Mm. So if whatever opportunity comes your way and it does not be, bring glory to God's name, mm. I plead with you, do sure. not take it. Al raki kala bedi kerksa praise and worship. Sure. As yeah. long as you're doing it unto the glory That's of God. It. That's it. That's stay it. true to who you are. Stay true to yourself. And in all that you do, mm. give glory to the King's name. Alipat, all for his glory. All for his glory. We're going to give some more glory to the King. Create more atmosphere. Sister Shonis, just take it away from us. <laughs> just take it away. We're just going with the flow. We're just appreciating the atmosphere that is here. We know definitely if God's presence is not recognized... His power cannot be released. 
and we definitely recognize he says wheresoever two or three are gathered in his name he is here with Eugene with Emmett with Shonise wherever you at Jesus is there hallelujah let's go before I sing I just want to share mm. something small sure. as a young married woman you know you face so many things and sometimes you don't have the support that you want or that you need mm. but I want young married women to know that if you know who God is to you and if you make him your everything yeah. he will carry you through the darkest times of your life there was a time in my life where I thought you know I miskien wil ek hier weer getroud is it's real because nobody understands what I'm going through I don't have the support that I want or that I need mm. but I had to get back to myself and ask myself voor wie het jy jou wous gemaakt en wat het jy gesê and if we can truthfully be open this afternoon we can let us terug gaan aan sy wous toe because you married too right sure. it says sure. for better or sure. for worse sure. what is worse mm. 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 Things can really spiral out of control. True. But a young married woman, you mm. need sisters that will not encourage you to run at every mm. storm. Yeah, sure. You yeah. need sisters that will mm. not encourage you to give up mm. when things get heated. Sure. Sure. You do not need sisters in your corner that mm. will speak down on your husband. Yes. You do not need sisters that mm. does not know who you are and where God is taking you. Because it is only if people knows who you are and where yes. you're going that they will understand your struggle. Sure. Do you get sure. me? Sure. As mense weet wie jy is, Eugene, en hulle sien wat jy deur gaan. Yes. They will be able to know that the calling upon your life is so great that the enemy is not happy, not happy. with where you're going. So and he will put so any true. obstacle in your way for you not to reach that destiny. Exactly. Exactly. So young married woman, I know that it's not easy and it becomes difficult and it becomes tough. Maar wat die Here by mekaar gesit het, let no man put asunder. En as dis net God wat jou man sa hart kan verander of jou vrou sa hart kan verander. Nie mense nie nie 'n pastoor nie nie 'n kerk nie, net die Here. Hou moed, skep moed en weet dat die Here altyd in beheer is. So ons gaan nou nog 'n song sing. In the Arena Bikiambit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ay, the Arena is moy. God is so good, he's so mighty, he's so awesome. There is none like him. He's the King of Kings and he's the Lord of Lords. He's the Great I am and he's the Prince of Peace. He's the Lily of the Valley and he's the Lion of Judah. He is the beginning and he's the end is the first and he's the last. He's the great I am. He is my anchor, my strength, my peace, my joy. He is everything that I need and everything that I need is in him. It is in him that I love, in him that I move and in him that I have my being. There is nothing that is hidden by God. There is nothing that is impossible by God. And we just want to honor you Lord because you are mighty. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are our banner God. You are our peace Jesus. And that is why we can just lift your name up. We can just worship you daddy because if it had not been for you, where would we have been Jesus? If it had not been for your grace that has kept us. If it had not been for your mercy Father God that has kept us. If it had not been for your love that has sustained us. Father God, where would we have been? We honor you because we understand that we are nothing without you. We understand God that we cannot move without you. We understand that we cannot breathe without you. We understand God that everything Father God concerning us is complete in you Jesus and that is why we honor you and that is why we lift you Jesus and we bless your name and we give you all the glory, all the honor and all the adoration because you are so mighty and you are so holy and you are so righteous and you are so powerful God and you are all knowing and only present and that is why we honor you Jesus we worship you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord Jehovah 
your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. the king of glory Hallelujah. Bible says lift up the gates and be lifted up the everlasting doors so that the king of glory come in hallelujah blessed be his name thank you Shonis for such an awesome atmosphere thank you for your presence thanks for gracing us with your presence we were thoroughly thoroughly blessed I trust and I believe that this won't be the last it'll be the beginning of great things great things to come and we're so grateful that you could join us, Numa Worship, with Emmett and Eugene. And we're so grateful that we could spend some time with you. May God bless you. May God keep you. May he increase you. And may he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he give you the peace of God that passes all understanding. May he guard your heart and mind that through everything that you're facing, that he will be the one that is in your boat we used to sing back in the day, with well, Jesus in my boat, I can smile at a song, right? Hallelujah. As we, keep, as we go <laughs> sailing on, sailing on with Jesus in our boat. Hallelujah. Right. So may God bless you. May God keep you. And we will definitely see you soon again. Peace out. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor to, you know, spend this time with you guys. Mm. It's always an awesome time to be in the presence of the Lord. I never awesome. take it lightly, so mm. I know that whosoever will be listening to this will be blessed yes. and will receive just that that God wants them to receive. So thank you once again for having me. 
I am really honored. The honor is ours. <laughs> <laughs> you are my strength. Strength like no other. Strength like no other. Reaches to me. You know it, right? <laughs> Your name, you live. 